Hi, I'm Anaslin Coleman. I'm a graphic designer originally from Liberia, based in the DC metropolitan area, currently living in Bali, Indonesia. I create colorful art that is thought provoking and I'm so excited to be a part of the Adobe Stock Make It Happen series. Bright colors and gradients make my world go round and I love using Adobe Stock to bring my personal projects and my client work to life. I'll be using Adobe Stock to help me complete all the social media assets today. Our challenge is to create three social media assets with the same look and feel. And so we will be curating a color palette today because this is a color theory episode. I went ahead and made us a mood board, selecting images that that portray the look and feel of what we want to do today. My favorite feature to use on Adobe Stock is the search by color feature. You can upload your own images. Let's say you have a favorite image, you can go ahead and drop it into Adobe Stock and it's going to find multiple images with the same color. Another way that I'm going to show you today is using the hex code. So since we already have our color palette, we're going to take a hex code, drop it into Adobe Stock. It's going to pull up many other images with the same color. I love this because it cuts down the time that you would take to find images for your project. I used the hex code and dropped it into Adobe Stock to find this beautiful gradient and this is what we're going to be manipulating today. To start off, I'm going to turn this into a circle by using the ellipse tool and then I'm going to also use the make clipping mask feature. Next thing I'm going to do is rotate all of the circles to create just a more exciting feel to the piece and this is just showing that the moving parts that we have inside of us are always turning and twisting, we're always changing, so I want to display that. And I'm going to go ahead and align. And then I'm going to take the ellipse tool again and we're gonna create, this time we're not gonna create a, a perfect circle, we're going to create ovals. So to manipulate the text, I'm going to be using the arc feature, which helps you kind of create this circular shape around the circles that we just made, because I want everything to flow seamlessly. After creating that in Illustrator, I'm going to go to Photoshop to show you how to finish this piece off. I selected this really cool wet paper effect from Adobe Stock Images, and I'm going to use this because I feel like it adds a really nice feel and dimension to the piece. And to make this look more realistic, what you want to do is select an overlay. And for this, I'm going to use the linear burn overlay. I really love this because it literally blends into the piece and I love how everything is looking right now. So after that, I'm going to save this and we're going to move on to the next piece. So for social media asset number two, we're going to be using the mesh tool. I love this because you can really have fun with it. You can create multiple points on the artboard and since I already made the color palette for us, I'm just going to use the eyedropper tool to select colors. Now that I like how this is looking, I'm going to take this into Photoshop and I'm going to add this really exciting Adobe stock asset that I selected earlier. I'm going to be using the overlay feature and I love this because it seamlessly blends everything. I love how this is looking so I'm going to go back into Illustrator and show you how to manipulate this piece. Make a clipping mask out of this and also create an outline. I want the text to be pretty simplistic because I want you to focus on the energetic um, artwork that we just created for this. So I really love how this is looking. Now we're going to move on to the third asset for the day. Okay, so for the third social media asset for today, we're going to be using the radial gradient tool. And there are three tools you can use for this. There's the linear, radial, and freeform. I went ahead and created our radial gradient already and I'm going to take this and pop it into Photoshop and then I'm going to show you the really cool Adobe Stock asset that I chose for this piece. So I selected this really fun piece. It has a lot of lines, a lot of energy coming out, which I, I really love. To blend this seamlessly with the gradient we just made, I'm going to be using the overlay feature and I love how this looks. You can see the gradient peeking through and you can also see the Adobe Stock asset that we selected and I feel like it does a really good job of showing that yes, there is darkness within you, but there's also so much light coming out and I feel like this piece does a really good job of showing that. So 
After this, I'm going to add the text, which is everything I need is within me. And I really love how this is looking. So these are the three social media assets for today. Here are the final social assets that we created today. I had so much fun today. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'm so excited to be a part of the Adobe Stock Make It Happen series. I hope you learned many ways how you can use Adobe Stock and colors to make all of your beautiful creations come to life.